Hi everyone, it's Erin from EB Mix Media and I'm gonna be working again today in my craft journal. I have a totally blank page that I'm gonna play with. I'm really feeling fall today. This weekend especially, I think the trees are really starting to turn and I'm starting to kind of get into it. So I'm kind of looking at this color palette of peaches and kind of some pops of orange maybe, maybe a little pinks and this lovely kind of eggplant purple. So that's all I know right now as far as what I'm going to do. Maybe I've got these great stamps that are leaf stamps. Maybe I'll do something with that. So let's get started and see what we can come up with. I think I'm going to start and break this page with some white gesso, which seems a little weird, but that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use a palette knife. All right. And we're just going to mirror it across the page. And I just sort of went where those marks already were from a previous session. All right, there's that, gotta dry it. Now on to some collage papers. I've got quite a few here, I'm loving this. Um, I'm not going to overthink this today. I've got a lot I want to get done today. I definitely want to do some art. But there's a lot going on. So I don't want to dilly-dally. I'm just going to not overthink this. I tend to overthink sometimes. Complicate things. Some old book pages here. <clears throat> this is some engineering manual, <laughs> again from my dad. This is beautiful dreamy paper. I'll put that there and we'll call that done. And then we'll get our fingers dirty. Oh, we might need, I feel like I want more up there too. Some pop of purple. This is some palette paper. It's just a clump of paint on there. Ooh, that really pops, doesn't it? I like it. I just set my glue stick in my gesso. Check that out. <laughs> I think I must be the sloppiest, sloppiest artist. And like, if you looked at my house, I'm generally a pretty tidy person, so <laughs> it's kind of weird. All right. Let's get some scissors and trim this. I got the page there a little bit and I clearly did not glue this down enough I don't think and let's go back and get some more glue there's paint on my glue okay all right that's kind of interesting I think this is going to be interesting all right it's tidy. Let's mix up some paint. I have a variety of paints on my palette here. I'm actually using palette paper because I think I'm going to be mixing a bit more. And sometimes when you just use copy paper, the paper absorbs it. So this will allow me to mix better. Uh, let's see. Here we have quinacridone violet or violet quinacridone. Um, this one is 
Dilusions Bubblegum Pink. My favorite here is Golden High Fluid Acrylics Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. <laughs> Another Dilusions. This is Pure Sunshine. I have a craft paint here, Peachy Pink from Apple Barrel. And I have this kind of, this is a Rose de Venice or Venetian Pink uh, from Sennelier. Uh, so that's sort of the color palette I am thinking of. And of course, I've got some gesso. And I'm going to start, I think, with some of this stuff. Whoops. That's a beautiful color, isn't it? I want it a little more peachy. So let's do that. Okay. This is bold, isn't it? I don't want too much of this, but it is such a pretty color though. Gosh. Okay. I don't know what, I feel like, what's this look like together? I don't know about that. Look at that. Wow. Interesting. Oh, that's kind of pretty too. That's a nice kind of dark. Almost, almost a neutral really. And that's pretty. Struggling a little bit here with these harsh edges. I should have maybe torn those pages. I think I want more peaches, which would be this. And is that still showing? Yeah. It's not very peachy, but that's kind of pretty. Oh, that actually looks exactly like what that is. This is just kind of playing with color and seeing what you get. I don't know how to get that peach. Let's do these together. What happens? I think this might be the answer. <laughs> there. I'm not talking much, am I? I'm really focused. Maybe that's okay. Maybe that's okay. Yeah, I just want a dab of kind of bright. Well, let's just get in there with it. Just a hint. Does this look like fall? I don't know if it does. <laughs> kind of does. All right, I'm wondering if I should pause. Let's, ooh, do I like that? I think I do, yeah. And now I just feel like I need a little more 
white for some contrast. And maybe, maybe, I covered up all that up there, didn't I? All right, I'm gonna leave it for now and see how I feel about it. I'll dry it and we'll move on. This is dry now and I'm gonna do some stencils. And I thought this one might work. I think I'm gonna go with this kind of, I don't know what this color is. Brown, tan. It's really wet. My brush must have been wet. Yeah, my brush was pretty wet. working for me. So it's kind of curving down the page. So while I was drawing, I was remembering that I had some napkins. I have a stash of napkins and in that stash were, were some fall uh, napkins. And I was sort of thinking I might use this one because at least this corner here is getting into our um, color scheme. So let's see how we can, let's just play with it for a minute. All right, so the way napkins work, you always want to peel off the back layer. Sometimes there's two, sometimes there's three. It depends on the quality of the napkins. Um, I learned this little trick, we'll see if it works, <laughs> to take some tape. Sometimes you can just pull them, they come right off. This is looking a little trickier, but I've seen people do this. Is it gonna work? Yeah, see? Now I've got the tape and I'm pulling the tape. Maybe I'm voila. I think I'm gonna cut this and rather than take the whole thing apart right now. All right, now take that off. And that is the only layer. Now I don't want um, I'm not liking this line. I don't know if you can see, but it looks like it's where the print sort of ended or something. There's a real little line there. And I don't want a straight line across here. I don't want this green in here. So to get, I want to get a torn line, but to make sure I tear it okay, I'm using, this is a watercolor brush pen. It has water in it. And you can just get your water going and trace what you want to include. I don't know how far I wanna go. Probably just to there. And then you can just, it'll tear really easily where you have the water. Again, I don't want that green. I'll pull that off. And I'll do this line here as well. And we'll tear that off so we get a rough edge. Although it may well, you may not see that harsh line when you get it glued down. It might not actually show. But why risk it, right? Alright. And then...
Okay. I'm gonna put this down with some matte medium. I am going to just use my fingers. I'm gonna try to line up the bottom. I think I did okay there. Gosh, I hope I'm gonna like this. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Do I like it or not? I'm definitely gonna have to bring some more paint in to kind of tie it in. I don't know how I feel about it, folks. I say that a lot, don't I? <laughs> I never quite know what I'm doing. Alrighty, this needs to dry. Now that this is dry, I feel like it's just sort of sitting on the page and I want to get my palette paper back here and see if I can't blend it in a little bit better. So, and bring back some of that painting that I did earlier. So let's bring that white. To balance this white down here, I'm gonna bring some of that up here. What's kind of fun now with the texture of the napkin is you do get some neat textured spots, which is nice. Bring that white over here a little where it is. And let's get some of this. I'm gonna need It's blending in pretty well, me thinks. There's a little more gold here than we had put in originally. So I'm gonna bring that out. That's looking nice. I think that's looking nice. However, we've lost the majority of our stencil. So let's get that back. And I'll need to try and mix that color <laughs> again. Which was somewhere over in this family. How did I get that? That's how I got it, I guess. Yeah. I don't even try to line up the stencil to where it was before. It won't matter in the end. But it, gosh, I got that color matched pretty well. <laughs> That's impressed myself there. Go a little lighter. Oh gosh, I like that a lot. I'm debating about whether I want to do those stamps. I feel like I'm. it might be too much. I think I've pretty much talked myself out of the leaf stamps, but I do want some more. I want to put some stamps in to give some more layering in the background. I've got this one. Again, it's a Tim Holtz, and it's a letter stamp, and they're uh, fancy serif letters. Um... I'm a little nervous about what color to use. I'm a little afraid of black, 
because I feel like it might be too much, but on the other hand, I might need some dark, dark in here. So I'm gonna test the waters with this Distress Oxide. It's an orange and it's water soluble. So if I hate it, I can take it off, right? Uh, so let's give that a go. And I don't know which way's up, that's up, yeah. And go right there in the center. You can just barely see that, which I'm okay with. It just, uh, again, adds another layer. To the page makes it more interesting there you can see it a little bit better on that white okay do I want I brought over my cactus flower and I brought over some red red geranium is that crazy okay I've got this one that's sort of just little dots This is the red, yeah, okay. Let's do a test. There was some black on there. All right. Again, it's just a little more interest. I'm trying to do it so that it's not, you know, just a straight line of dots. I'm getting worried I'm overdoing this a little bit. So I'm not going to do... too much more. All right, that's enough of that. I feel like I'm really done. I, I, I could overdo this completely. I want gold though. I really want some gold. Okay. I don't know. Don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That doesn't... That's kind of nice. You're just getting a little hint of gold. I don't think I'll do it all over. Okay, what do I want to do for a focal point? I know what I want to do, but I'm feeling like I keep doing it. Next up is splatters, because splatters make everything better. And that was way too much gesso for this, but, oh yes. And I need more gold, can't. Stop, won't stop with the gold. <laughs> I'm addicted. And I think, you know, I do a lot of the same things. Uh, there's things I just really like. They look good. And, you know, sometimes you feel pressure to do new things, be original, try different things. But there's also something to be said about being in your comfort zone and doing things that you know are going to work and that you know you really like. And with that in mind, I am going to go back to my cone flowers because I love them so much. And look how pretty that looks. I have to use it. I have to. However, I'm gonna jazz it up a little bit. I found this, which is just a little leaf sketch on some of that engineering paper. And I thought I could either do that 
Yeah. And then the leaves, because for whatever reason, I didn't put a leaf on this one. The leaves will be in that neat engineering paper. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm like, oh no! Okay, well that's okay. That's okay because I'm just gonna do that, right? I didn't need the stem anyway. Right, 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 right. I didn't need the stem anyway, so <laughs> that was fortunate. That paper is pretty delicate. I guess it's from the 1950s, so. I guess it would be. Let's go off the page a tad. And there you have it. A lovely fall spread. Very happy with how this page turned out. I love these colors together. So hope you have a great Sunday and I look forward to seeing you back here again. You can also find me on Instagram at eb underscore mixed media. Thanks. Bye.